Welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by Real Estate Business Intelligence and MRIS Company. Let's examine the most recent numbers for housing market activity in the nation's capital. In July, the national economy continued its trend of slow recovery, with moderate job gains and virtually no change in the unemployment rate, holding at the June rate of 8.3%. Over the last 12 months, the U.S. economy has added 1.8 million new jobs, fueled by growth in the private sector and reductions in the size of state and local government by more than 100,000 jobs. Most economists agree that economic growth will continue to be slow in the second half of 2012. While there has been some positive economic news, including increases in hiring and a slowdown in new applications for unemployment insurance, these signs have not been consistently positive. In addition, the European debt crisis and the dim prospects of any action on the proposed federal budget spending cuts prior to the elections support continued uncertainty and serve to stifle economic growth. While the national economic news is uninspiring, there continues to be positive news on the housing front. Almost all analysts agree the national housing market has begun its turnaround. Both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac reported strong earnings in the second quarter of 2012, the result of rising home prices, faster processing of foreclosures, and fewer delinquent homeowners. Home prices are up nationally, posting the biggest gains in at least seven years. The local economy posted healthy employment growth, adding more than 18,000 resident workers over the past 12 months. The unemployment rate in the district is 9.1%, up from 9% in June, but down from 11.3% at this time last year. Demand in the housing market has remained strong into the summer. There were 632 sales in July, up 7.8% from this time last year, and the highest July total in three years. The sales trend is likely to continue as new pending contracts are also on the rise. The 662 new pending contracts signed in July are 4.6% higher than July 2011, and in fact the highest July total in seven years. While sales are on the rise, the inventory of homes for sale continues to decline. The 1,491 active listings at the end of July are 33.6% below this time last year, the 10th consecutive year-over-year -year decline exceeding 20%. The 695 new listings entered in July represent the lowest July total the district has seen in a decade. The absorption of homes on the market, driven by increased sales and decreased new listings, is causing home prices to rise. The median home price for Washington, D.C. in July was $457,500, up 2.8% from July 2011 and the highest on record for the city. At 96.8%, the average sale to list price ratio is up from 94.9% .9 this time last year. And median days on market is 22 days, down 8 days from a year ago. Over the past year, the Washington, D.C. housing market has seen key changes on several fronts. Sales activity is rising, both in closed sales and new pending contracts. At the same time, the inventory of homes for sale continues to decline, reaching decade lows for new listings over the past two months. These trends are putting upward pressure on prices and decreasing the median days on market. While market conditions appear favorable for sellers and interest rates remain at historic lows for buyers, underlying economic and political uncertainty continue to impact market dynamics. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.